You know, folks, Elmer messed up, okay? He don't, he don't do what his wife tells him to do, okay? The honeydew jobs and stuff around the house. If he do that during the week, okay, and get all this kind of stuff done, she would let him, no doubt, go fishing. But he won't do that. He puts things off, and uh, they're fussing this morning. He was, I went to his trailer there, and um, they burn it. They was fussing again. So I just, when I pulled up in the driveway, I just started to leave. But Elmer run out and says, Listen, I'm going fishing with you anyway, the heck with her. Well, then immediately his wife run in behind him and says, No, you ain't. You're going to stay here and you're going to get some of this stuff done. I'm sick and I'm tired of it. Okay. So that's what happened. Um, let's just go fishing with me and we'll catch us some big catfish, maybe big ones. I don't know if the big ones are in there yet, but let's catch some from the bank with live bluegill. Okay. Okay, we're here at the river. We're going to, I caught me about three bluegill. And uh, real quick, and I'm going to go ahead and rig one up on this circle hook. This is a 5 alt Sea Guard circle hook made by Eagle Claw. I got two or three different types of circle hooks, but uh, we'll try this one. Okay, we got him rigged up to go to the bottom for a flathead or a big blue. Let's make us a cast out here about 40 or 50 feet. Okay. Out here in amongst these rocks, I'm, I'm fishing over about 10, 12 feet of water right here. And it's a rock pile out there directly under that bluegill where it hit. The way I've got that bluegill hook, folks, that bluegill's gonna go straight down to the bottom. And hopefully we got us a big flathead waiting, or blue. Okay, I got a bite right here, finally. This bad front right here has caused me a lot of problems, even with these catfish. All right, let's just reel and see what we got here. Now this is not a big catfish at all. As a matter of fact, <laughs> is a spotted bass now i talked about that in our, in our last can't even talk right here i'm a little excited how spotted bass love bluegill i mean i've caught some good ones out here this ain't a real real big fish but he's giving me a fit right here okay let's see let's see what we do let's get him you never know what you're going to catch. That's the fun of fishing. Um, especially with live bait like this. Man, this fish is pretty. Look at there. That's a spotted bass here on Gunnerful Lake. Get him off. That circle hook got him. Yeah. Never know. Sort of a bonus. You know, that fish has been caught before, but he got caught again, too, didn't he? There, Elmer. Yeah. Let's let him go. All right. Let's wait out these catfish. That was a heck of a front, and I'm having a lot of trouble finding these flatheads and blues, but now we're going to keep trying. Let's catch another one. Folks. Whatever I got right here is a good one. Now, I've been having a hard time today. All I've caught is that spotted bass. And I've been out here realistically about an hour and a half without any bass. I'm gonna have to loosen this drag. I just have 15 pound line. Now, I threw out a big bluegill. I mean a big one. This 
fish is coming straight to us towards rocks but now I can tell it's a big one I got 15 pound this line and uh, I'm having a fit right here I'm just gonna have to take my time I've got my drag set real light now I don't know if this is a flathead or blue but it's a good fish this is really what I wanted to come here today for even though this front come through and it's a major front you can still catch fish it acts like a flathead but it could be a blue golly mom what a blue this is a huge fish on 15 pound line so it's going to take me a while to land him <laughs> My intentions was to really come out here and catch a flathead, anywhere from five to eight pounds using live bluegill. But you'll always <laughs> can catch a big fish like this if you don't watch it. That's what's happened. So come on, big boy. You met your match there. Or I think you have. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to start talking too much right, right now. Not with this light line. Okay, look at old slime on our elbow. That's from a lot of fat and that fish going back and forth. I'm going to get out here in the water. How am I going to land this fish? Well, what I'm going to do is do the best I can do. Oh, man, what a fish. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to pop my line here because I done went through too much effort to catch you. Folks, I hope the camera, let me get down in here. I hope the camera's getting that fish right there. Okay, I'm going to hold him. Look at there, what a fish right there. 15 pound line. I'm proud of it. <sighs> okay. That's a good shot right there, is it not? I'm gonna let him go. Alright, here we go. Golly bum, boy. I got old slime all over me. It was worth it. That's right. Whew. You know. <laughs> that was some fun. Wow. I'm going to do her again. That's right. Boy. Man, I love this stuff. I got another fish hook right here but i'm not having time to but he's up under a rock or something now he feels like a big one there he's stripping drag i don't think he's as big as one i just caught though but i don't know i don't know he's pulling now but he's up under something so i'm gonna take my time and see if i can this is a real rocky area and this fish ain't even moving. He's on the bottom. There he comes. He got a loose from whatever that was. He's coming to the top like a blue. I don't know. I may have another big blue. <laughs> it's hard to say. <laughs> my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Now I've sit here. Oh, my goodness. What a fish. I want y'all to look. I don't know if the camera caught that. It's not a blue, and it's not a channel, and it's not a flathead. I'd forgot about this species. It's the dreaded one, the music maker. Let's take her time and get him up here. He's a big one. Hit a live bluegill. 
Now, that's what makes it real sporty. You don't never know what you're going to catch when you're fishing with live bait. And you can do it from the bank, folks. You don't have to have a boat. I'm trying to prove this. Now, I want you to look what a fish out there. Yeah, holly bum. It's a freshwater drum. It's um, actually a relative, if you'll look it up, to a redfish in salt water. Just like a black drum, which is a saltwater species. Black drum, a redfish, and, and this freshwater drum here are actually in the same family. But now, he's a long ways from saltwater, but this is a big one. Big old fish. I thought it was another blue the way he come up to the surface, but you don't ever know what you're gonna catch. Look at him, I have whooped him on this 15 pound test line, and he's huge. So we're just gonna get down here like we did that catfish. Of course, he shouldn't be as tough as that catfish. Blue was a uh... okay. I don't know, he's being pretty mean, y'all. But look at there. Can y'all see that? Let me hold him on out here. I don't need to get my fingers too caught up in his gills, but I want you to look what a fish there, Elmo. Uh, that's hard to hold that fish up. Now, that one swallowed the circle hook, but he'll be fine. These are some tough old fish. We'll cut the line, let him have it. Let's get down here and release him. Oh, let me slide him down this rock here. Okay. Well, let me reach out here and touch his tail. There he goes. <sighs> Back to the depths. All right, let's rig up again and see what else kind of behemoth we can catch. Folks, I got one running with this. Now, this is a big bluegill. It's the only one I, could, I couldn't catch none the right size until after I put the the bait out so now i have no i don't have no idea what it is but this fish has had it for a while but i'm going to tighten up right here and let's see if we can hook him okay okay all right we got the fish now it don't feel that big though it ain't like them two behemoths i just just caught but uh, I got it. Could be, it feels like a small blue or a channel cat. I don't think it's flathead, but it's not fighting like one, but we'll see. That's a channel cat. He's still got that bluegill in his mouth, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you how big a bluegill I had. So that's why I was tensed up the way I was talking. I bet you heard it in my voice. I just knew I had another King Kong Blue. But man, I'm having fun out here. And there's a reason why I'm doing this. I want y'all to get out here and do this. Okay? Make you feel a lot better about things. Okay, let's get this channel cat that's a big channel cat though but i'll show you got him right in the corner of the mouth i had to show you how it how it got him you know i have to do that good circle hook look at there what a bluegill look at there that's what he hit that's why i thought i had a big blue but let's get this get him loose so we can catch us another one I'm wanting another blue or a big flathead. It's really what I'm wanting, but we'll take what we can get because we're fishermen. <coughs> Hold him out here. That's a pretty, pretty channel cat. 
All right, let's let him go. Okay. Hey, go the other way. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna let him run with it. There's no telling what he could be. You know, that's the fun of bank fishing. It could be another behemoth or it could be a... I might miss him. Could be a big old flathead. That'd be nice. But uh, he's had it a while, so I'm gonna try him out. I'm gonna let him tighten up and then start reeling. Behemoth, but it's a good fish. Amazing how they'll hit them great big old bluegill like that. That could be a flathead. The way he's fighting. Now he's fighting like a flathead. I may have first flathead of the day. I hope he's staying down towards the bottom. Folks, he's starting to pull now. He's pulling just like a flathead, but we'll see. I had a lot of fun right here. Fronts or no fronts, live bait's hard for these fish to resist. And from the bank, catching quality fish like this, yeah, it feels like a flathead. <laughs> and it is, it's a good one too. <laughs> I'm gonna let him do his thing. He ain't no behemoth, but he's a big one. This is addictive, you know, as much as I love to crappie fish and things of that nature. But now this can get addictive when you catch your own bait, you know, right there where you're fishing. And then you catch quality fish like this and be able to fight them and then let them back go, and let them go. Boy, I like them circle hooks a lot better. Get, get Yamakatsu. Try those. That's a pretty good flathead. I uh, got lucky and I got a flat rock again, but I'm in a different part of the river now. But I'm going to slide him from the other video, and that's a pretty fish. Let me get him up here. Now, you can lift these just like a bass. <laughs> it's a big flathead. Okay. <clears throat> Got him. Right in the corner of the jaw. I mean, this is addictive. This makes me want to come back and do it again. Look there, what a mouth. Now, whatever a flathead can get in his mouth, which one this size can get a, a bluegill the size of your hand in his mouth, he'll swallow. Very aggressive fish, but there he is. That fish is heavy. I don't have no idea what these two catfish that I've caught weighed, but I know that blue was huge. And this is a good fish too. Great fish. Now y'all get out here and do this. Get you a little hook, some worms, catch you some bluegill and throw them out there on the bottom with a circle hook. Hooking them uh, right there behind the anal fin, okay? And he'll go straight to the bottom for you with very little weight. And that'll let that bluegill search around for fish like this. Let's let him go. Golly, I'm gonna lay him right here. Let's see what he does right here. Let's watch him. See how mean they are? You can tell the nature of that fish is mean. He looked at me before he left. And uh, there's no telling what he said, but I probably wouldn't want to know. You know. But uh, let's try to catch another one. It's uh, 5.30, so I got a little time. Maybe I'll catch a big old blue. Cross your fingers, folks. Look at that. Now that fish is moving out. I'm gonna let him tighten up. Uh, man, I'm... I don't know if I got that fish. I 
believe I missed him. Dead gone it. Really down there, I got no, I got the fish, <laughs> but boy, he was screaming. There he comes, he's coming out of them rocks. What it is, is weaved out of them darn rocks, weaved in and out of them, folks. Golly, it's another big old blues, what it is. Look at him down there. <laughs> Now that's a good way to end it. Again. Let me get him. I hope you don't get over that line. Now this ain't... <clears throat> I got a 20-pound line on here. My goodness. That was a funny battle right there. Funny battle. But I got him. Golly, boom. Them things fight. Look at him, he rolled up in there. He's not huge like that other one, but I had a fit. Now that's a good way to, I still got a blue gill out on this other rod. I better watch it, cause it could be a school of fish coming through there. But let's, uh, <laughs> oh, I'll slip if I don't watch it. Uh, I gotta get back in the boat. That's what I gotta do. Okay, come here. Darn, Elmer. <coughs> You're missing all kinds of stuff there, boy. Let me can you bring you up here so folks can see you. All right, let's look at him. I got my jacket in the way probably and everything else. But there he is, folks. That's the best I can do. Let's release him. I'm going to throw him out there. Whew. Give out. Let me show y'all one more time. This is rock pile fishing, actually, is what I've been doing in the last, in the three videos that I've made. I'm using a, uh, I bought Gamakatsu, okay, um, circle hook, 20 pound test line on, on this 6500 Yes. Now this reel right here has a clicker feature. It's a good one for flathead fishing or blue cat. It's loaded with 20 pound test, uh, big game trialing. Okay, that's about all I do. I'm fishing a little weak for catfish. For catfish enthusiasts, I know they're probably saying, God, that's too light. But I'm doing it for the fun and sport of it. I don't really care if I lose them or not. But the main thing is, hooking those bluegill, the way I do, they go straight to the bottom, okay? And the 1 16th ounce bullet weight is just, once the bluegill gets to the bottom, it tires him out, just that little bitty, bitty bullet weight to help tire him out, but he'll still roam the bottom, okay? He's got freedom to move, and that's what's so good about these big blues and, and flatheads fishing for them. So yeah, bad cold fronts, in May, it doesn't matter. If you're patient, you can still catch some good fish off the bank. Um, and if Elmer was here, okay, he would definitely say, I'm going fishing next time when I can because I'm going to be good to my wife because she loves me and I'm going to whistle because I'm going fishing when I can, and you should too. Because it's good for you. That's why, man. Whoa! See you next time. <laughs> yeah.